Before you even get started with quail, you're going to want to make sure to do your own ample research. Quail are usually going to come in the egg form and not usually sold as birds similar to chicks just because they are such fragile birds once born. So you're going to need to make sure to thoroughly research and obtain where you are going to purchase these eggs from. There are a variety of different types of Coturnic quail out there and you can obtain them from different hatcheries, Etsy, Craigslist, Facebook, the list goes on. Now we've gotten a lot of ours from Etsy and have had really great success. And there's a lot of work that then comes with actually raising your own quail. And we're gonna be breaking it down into three steps today. I'm Danielle of the Slitero Farm and welcome to our channel where we bring you new content every week about how to start your own backyard homestead and start living a more sustainable lifestyle. And quail are such a great way to start the homesteading journey and can even be started on your porch, which is why I love them so much. But let's jump into how much work is actually going to be involved in raising quail from the day to day to the different various things that you're going to need to do throughout the year to make sure that you are creating a safe home and space for your new quail. Now that you have your eggs, you can go ahead and start with stage one. This is most likely the easiest part of the process. And to be honest, a lot of raising quail is pretty easy. But what this is going to do for you is you're going to take your eggs. Usually when they arrive, you'll want to have them sit on your counter to get to room temperature for around 48 hours. This way they will be able to acclimate and any sh shifting throughout the change will help them settle into their eggs. Then you're going to put them into your incubator at 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit. We use a Nurture 360 incubator and we've had really great success. And you wanna make sure that you do have an incubator that is going to turn the eggs or you will need to manually turn your eggs. And this is going to help with the success of your hatching. The humidity level will be 50 to 60% and you will keep your eggs in here until they hatch out. I have a whole video on the whole process of incubating quail eggs and I'll include that down below in the description so you can go ahead and watch that as well as the next step of your researching stage. Stage two is going to be the brooder stage and this is when your chicks will have already hatched out around 24 hours after they hatched out you will then move them to the brooder and this is where a lot more work and detail is going to be in probably all of raising quail. I think this is the most intensive time. And this is because usually in the wild, quails would go out, forage for their own food, and have their mom for their heat. But in this essence, you are going to be their mom. You're going to make sure that they have enough food, water, and heat. And Similar to chicks, they're gonna go from that hatching stage to the brooder stage, but quail are a lot smaller and they're not gonna have enough stored energy where they can wait a long time before eating. Usually when you get chicks mailed to you, it could be a couple days before they've even had their first meal, where quails, you're gonna actually need to get them on water and food within 24 hours, they're gonna be ready to eat. In regards to food, you're going to want to feed them a game bird starter feed and this is going to help because they need the protein to really grow and you're going to notice that Coturnic whale are going to grow really fast at a very fast speed. They're going to be maturing and they'll actually start laying eggs in around eight weeks and they're also going to be fully grown out at around eight weeks. So just a very fast bird. So they really need that protein. During this time, you're going to want to put them under the heat in the brooder with nice clean bedding that you're replacing on a weekly basis. And every week, you're going to decrease the temperature by 5 degrees, starting out at 95 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's decreasing it by 5 degrees Fahrenheit for any of my non-US. Sorry about that. <laughs> In regards to water, you're going to want to make sure that you are cleaning out their water. I usually like to do this daily along with the feed. I'm filling their feet up daily. When they're really young, I'll put marbles or stones in the bottom so that nobody drowns. And 
really just making sure that they have a good heat source, food, water, clean bedding, and you're just checking in on them is going to be the best way to raise these quails. They're going to be in the brooder stage for around four weeks or until they are fully feathered out and are able to not need that heating source. If it is the winter, you might want to provide it for a little longer. And then we'll go into the next stage. The third stage and final stage is going to be the adult stage of your quails. This is when you can take them out of that brooder or grow out cage and when we will throw ours into our hatching time cages. We'll then start to feed them with our automatic watering system. We'll have our automatic food system where we have a 28% protein diet, which is usually any type of game bird. Just make sure that you have enough protein in it. The higher the protein, the better. And this is when they're really going to start to become pretty fairly easy to raise, honestly. With the cage that we have, the water and food are automated. And really the only thing that we have to do on a daily basis is check to make sure that the levels are good there, fill up anything, and then really just cleaning our quails. So the cage is going to be really great. It's going to have the droppings go down. We will clean the manure trays anywhere from once to two times a week, depending on how many quail we have in the cage and depending what their droppings are or what type of year it is. We'll make sure to have a fresh layer of bedding in that when we refill it and stock it back in. And then we like to clean our actual quail cage, which we'll do with just a power wash system a few times a year. So maybe every couple of months, we'll go ahead and do that. And depending on how dirty or how many quails you have, you might want to do that more or less. So if you think about how much time we actually spend on our quail per day, it is merely minutes. We'll just walk out to our barn, check on everyone, make sure they're good and collect any eggs. We have around 40 quails and we have some that are in the incubation process. So we're going in there feeding and watering them, which does take up a lot more, probably about 15 minutes a day. And the adult quails are five minutes a day plus the cleaning of the cages which the cage will take around one to two hours probably depending on how thorough we like to let it air dry in the sun and then we'll take all the quail out put them all back in so all in all quail are very easy to raise you saw it today i walked through the entire process all three stages from incubation to brooding to the adult stage and all of them really don't take too much time so if you're thinking about getting quail do it now and do it when you are in summer it's much easier it's already warm out and you can take advantage of the heat around us so you don't have to provide any supplemental heat in conclusion quail really don't take that much time they could take merely minutes a day depending on how long you want to be staring at your quail in the incubator to two hours every couple of months where you're cleaning out their cages. Regardless of the different stages of life, they're never taking too long. And as long as you're building in automated systems like we have with our watering and food system, then you're really gonna cut back on your time and the amount of work that's needed. And it's gonna allow you to build up the rest of your backyard homestead and enjoy the outdoors and doing what I'm sure all of us love. So if you don't already have quail, definitely look into getting some of your own. I definitely suggest Quaternic Quail and I hope that you learn to love them as much as we do. I hope this is helpful and we'll see you guys again next time. Bye!